That you were the service of you sin. You were the service of sin. But you have obeyed but from you, the heart. But you obeyed from the heart. You ate it up what? That form of doctrine. That form of doctrine. You ate the right stuff. You ate the real stuff. You was up under a sound word. You were up under a sound doctrine. So you had the power. You understood. Even though they may say, I'm too weak. It's not our power. Greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. I the know. real true doctrine that taught you that he's able to keep you from falling. You don't got to fall down and get back up. He's able to keep you from falling. The doctrine that teach you where sin abounds, there's grace much more about the doctrine that will give you power. Here he said, You are victorious because you obey from the heart, you listen from the heart, you ate the right stuff. My God, but many people, and I had to get this revelation. I'm going to the prisons and I'm preaching. This and the other, these men are sitting there saying, you understand, man? We in a band up here, but we do wrong all the time. This is all we've ever been taught. And it hit me. You are what you eat. You are what you eat. I said, that's what you've been eating. And it's messed your immune system up. So now you have no resistance power. You have no resistance power. Why? Because you're eating the stuff that's telling you we're human. Making excuses. We can't live right. There's no way. Don't you realize man is a fallen being? Man is a falling creature. Man is fallen. We're born. Man is fallen. Man is. You're absolutely right. We are a fallen creature, but that's why we're born again when we get saved. Amen. That's Amen. what resurrection is all about. Amen. We're resurrected a new creature in Christ Jesus. Thank the Lord. Amen. So here, when it's the wrong stuff, you don't just sit anywhere. <laughs> The wrong stuff? You sitting there? Ain't no sanctification. See, you're, going, you're human. You're going to show some emotion. You, you're right, you're human. It hurt. But there's nothing down in me that wants to come out to destroy and beat you down. And I got to hold that down. You don't hold that down. You crucify that. You know, you'll be walking around your whole experience trying to hold this down and hold this down and hold this down and hold this down. Hold this down. It is important what you eat. So your immune system ends up real weak. My God. Because you're up under a gospel. So, Brother Lee, how does immune systems get so weak? One, they don't eat. Two, they eat the wrong stuff. And we want to make sure. Go over. So, wrong, no food. Also, the wrong food, then the lack of the right food. <sighs> I'm sorry. Go to Philippians 2, 12 real quick. Wrong food. Philippians 2, 12. Just read real quick. Wherefore, my beloved, wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, uh -huh. not as in my presence only. Thank the Lord for real true saint of God, not just saved at church only or when the preacher or when the saints are around only. But when I'm on campus and nobody's around, I'm still saved. When I'm on my computer at home, I'm still saved. When no one else is around me on my family vacation, thank God I'm still saved. I'm still the same. But Lee, if you see me on my job, come to my job. You want to grab my computer? Go ahead. Look all through it. Go to my house. Interview my children. Interview my wife. Go to my job. Interview everybody there. Everybody. No matter what department, been there almost 20 years. Ask him, have you ever seen him do anything? You ever heard him say one word, anything at all? You ever heard him go anywhere? If you ever, ever, ever go to my neighbors, ask him anything, they listen to me, they hear us outside arguing in the backyard playing stuff we shouldn't. Go, 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 go look at all of it. He said, not only in my presence. Come on and read, brother. Wherefore, my beloved. Yes. As ye have always obeyed. Yes, the word of God. Read. Not as in my presence only. My mind. But now much more in my absence. Much more. That's a real saying. Come on and read. Work out your own salvation mm -hmm. with fear and trembling. My Lord, work it out. But my God, with a fear. Come on, God. For it is God which worketh in you. Come on. How Both. are you able to do this? How are you able to keep that in front of the saints, no one around? How are you able to keep that? Listen to the doctrine. That a doctrine that can keep you safe on Friday night. You, you know how many Sunday morning Christians there are, saints? Seriously, there's churches that you look up in a choir, the same people you see up here singing, they're at the club on Friday night getting drunk. <laughs> the pianists, the one you see over here playing, you saw them at the club playing all type of boogie woogie, this, that, and the other. Let me sex you all night. Then they're going to come up here. I got it. No, you don't got it. No, 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 no. No, no, don't run up here. Run over there. That's
That room over there. Yeah. Wrong, you in the wrong aisle. We'll go back that way and go over there. But how does it happen, saints? Listen, Brother Frank, come on and read. Let's show with the, 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 the doctor. Read. For it is God which worketh in you. Well, I'm too weak. For it is God that worketh in you. Amen. Come on. Both to will. Yes, sir. And to do. Skip down to verse 15. Why? That ye may be blameless. Yes, sir. And harmless. It's too wicked in this world. The world, you heard that excuse? The world is so wicked today. How can we keep ourselves right? How can we live a holy life? Come on and read, but Frank. That ye may be blameless. That ye may be blameless. And harmless. And harmless. The sons of God. The sons of God. Without rebuke. Without rebuke. In the midst. In the midst. Of a crooked, of and, a perverse crooked and perverse I don't care if you're in prison. I don't care if you're in jail. I don't care if you're at a college campus. I don't care if you're in, uh, in Africa. I don't care if you're in Czechoslovakia. I don't care if you're on a family vacation. God is able to keep you holy and blameless it doesn't matter where you go as long as God lets you there he can give you the grace and strength how is that done skip back to verse 13 for Frank slowly now verse 13 how is he able to keep you blameless in front of people when no one's around with so much wickedness all around us how in the world can God keep us holy in the midst of all this ungodliness on the internet all this ungodliness in our schools all this ungodliness in our communities all this ungodliness in America society today how how can he keep a people that really are Christian for real, that really, my God, represent Christ for real? How is he able to keep them so that they are light? Keep reading that verse 15 one more time, but Frank, then we're going to go back and say hi. Read. That you may be blameless. Yes, sir. And harmless. Yes, sir. The sons of God. Yes. Without rebuke. Uh-huh. In the midst of a crooked and perverse nation. In the midst of a wicked and perverse uh, a nation. Read. Among whom you shine as lights in this you world. You still letting your light shine. How are you able to do that? At this school, nobody saved at the whole high school but you. How are you able to go to that school, keep your testimony, keep your spirit right? How are you able to be un uh, 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 married to an unsaved person? They got, them, they got wickedness all on the TV. This said, how are you able to keep your testimony in the middle of all of that? And keep, how are you able to go to a family reunion? And those folk ain't saved at family reunions many times. And they sitting there 60, 70, 80 years old, still trying to do the boogie woogie. Old auntie, old grandma so-and-so, still trying to get, I uh, 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 heard it through the grapevine, all this other stuff stuff way back. Amen. From the temps and all this other. How are you able to do that? Let me show you. Go back to verse 13 but Frank. For it is God. It ain't you. For it is God. Read. Which worketh in you. Look at the doctrine that you're up under. Look at the food you're receiving. It's God. It's not you. We are kept by the power of God. Amen. God is stronger than any temptation that we could ever face. It is God. Read brother Frank. Which worketh in you. Which worketh in you. That means the desire. Read. Both to will both to will and to do. Oh my Lord. It is God that worketh in you both to will, which means a desire. God gives you the desire to do right. When you really get saved, God gives you the desire to do read his word. He gives you the desire. You don't want to do the stuff you used to do. You don't want to do the stuff you used to be involved in. And you do want to do the stuff that you used to didn't like to do. Why? Because God, in the process of regeneration, he works in you. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. He creates in you a new mind, a new heart, gives you new desire. It is God. It is God. We cannot allow no false prophet or no false doctrine, amen, to make the work of God to be brought down to a human level. It is a miracle. You can't explain it. You can't touch it. Don't do nothing with it. Just let it go. Submit yourself to it and receive the experience of it. He said it is God that worketh in you both to will gives you a strong desire to do what's right. And you know what would be criminal? If he stopped right there, that was enough. But that still wouldn't be right. Because he made us with a desire to do right. They take the Apostle Paul talking about the law. He said, that which I will, I do not. That which I do, I do not. So who should work? Absolutely. He wasn't upon it. He wasn't talking about Paul. He's talking about Saul. Here, he said, no. He's teaching them. The same man that had that struggle up under the law. He said, oh, something happened on Damascus Road. Hey, man, and now I can teach you to give you some real spiritual food. That it is God that worketh in you both to will. means he give you the desire. And the do. 
know which one to shout over. The will, he changed my heart, changed my mind. Changed. I'm not struggling being saved. My old friends don't got to come around talking about, I'm so sorry, you saved now. You can't go to the club. Don't feel sorry for me. I'm doing what I want to do. I don't want to do that stuff no more. I don't sit on my hands at night. Oh, pull me. I can't go to that. I don't want to do that mess no more. That's the will. That's worth shouting over. That's our God. That's the power. That's what my God, the world has lost this truth for the most part. But he didn't stop there. What did he say, Brother Frank? The will and? And to do of his good plan. The do, the will is he creating you the desire. Then he's not going to leave you there with a the righteous desire and not give you the power to perform your desire. So he's going to give you the will. He gives you the desire. Then he says, I'm not going to stop, devil. Now they don't want to do it. They don't have no desire to do it. But I'm not going to stop there, devil. I'm going to give them the power to do what they want to do. Amen. My God, My the Lord. power of our God, a real doctrine. Give you some food. Give you some power. He gives you a right desire and he gives you the power to tell the devil, I don't want to lust and I'm not doing it. Amen. I don't want to lie and I'm not, not doing it. I don't want to cheat and I'm not doing it. Get behind me, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's the power we're talking about. My God. But folk get up under the wrong doctrine, the wrong gospel. And it don't build up the immune system. And they end up weak. Mm. Weak. So now they gotta have a weak doctrine. So they don't feel condemned. But God is raising up an army. God is, this has been a week. This has been a week, my God. God is raising up an army that wants this truth so they can be built up with power and no matter what comes between them, no matter what tries to stop it, they're going to run over it. They're going to run over whoever, however, whatever you try to do. I'm going with God. I love you. I appreciate you. But I'm going with God. I got to be fed the real truth. Nothing but the truth. Don't add to it. Don't subtract track from it. Amen. Don't let me hit the next point because I don't want to get ahead of myself. So you got no food. How does the immune system get weak? The wrong food. Then we said the lack of the right food. Go over to 2 Timothy 4.1 Pray for us. We bring it in. I charge thee before, I charge thee therefore before God. Yes, sir. And the Lord Jesus Christ. My Lord. Who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. My Lord, don't, this is serious, brother. Come on and read, I charge you before God. You will not give an account for this. You're not playing no game. People talking about they want this, they want you want to charge. Okay, you'll give an account for it. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on and read. I'm dealing with a young minister, read. Who shall judge the quick and the dead at, at his appearing and his kingdom. My Lord. Preach the word. Yes, sir. Be instant in season. Preach the word of God. Be instant in season. Out of season. When you feel like it, when you don't. Hey. Preach the word. Come on and read. Talk about you want to call it. Ain't no time off. Preach the word. Don't, not no lullaby. Don't look at their faces. I don't care what door opens to you. Preach the word. I don't care where, what avenue, what, why. If God opens up a door, you go there. Preach the word of God. Come on and read. Preach the word. Yes, sir. Be instant in season. Be instant in season. Out of season. Out of season. Reprove. Reprove. Rebuke. Come on. Exhort. Rebuke. Exhort. With, with all long suffering. With all long suffering. With and the right doctrine. spirit and, and doctrine. doctrine. Read. For the time will come. The time will come. When they would not endure sound doctrine. Where they would not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust. Well, after their own lust. Shall they heat to themselves come on. teachers. Having itching ears. Oh, my Lord. Having what, but Frank? Heat to themselves teachers. Having itching ears. Come on. Read. And they shall turn away from their ears from the truth. My Lord. And shall be turned unto fables. But watch hold down on, all hold things. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Over in Isaiah, he mentioned eight, Isaiah 30, verse 8, he mentioned, uh, uh, turn ye out the way, leave us alone, preaching to a smooth thing. Here he said, the time going to come where they're not going to want to be fed right. And they're going to go places where they can just hear what they want to hear. But you know what it's going to do? You are what you eat. 
the stand you used to have, the vision you used to have, the consecration you used to have. What's happening, brother? Worldliness comes in. If you ain't got a spiritual immune system, see, oh, Father. Oh, Father. See, saints, that's why people say, I'm going to sit down in the back. No, don't. You come out of that. That falseness down there, that, 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 that watered down, that's what he said. They're going to want a watered down gospel where all the nutrients, all the substance. See, over in Corinthians, he said, I want to give you, he said, I got to give you milk. You can't handle meat. See, meat gives you the substance. That's why you talk about the military, meat and potatoes. You go out in that field and work. All the nutrients come from that. You can deal with spirits. You can take new ground. You got power. You can deal with all. Come on. That brother had a good meal. Man, come on. It don't matter. I, I, I had a good meal. I can work. Let me dig some holes. I can do whatever. But over in Revelation, it talks about they should be rich with delicacies and, and you eating cupcakes? Uh -uh. Man, you know how tired I'm hearing the am of hearing John 3.16. Okay, John 3.16. Next week. Okay, John 3.16. I'm gonna start with the second part. The, John 3.16. Well, it's it's too tight around. I'm gonna go where we get love and we're gonna go. Go ahead. And your dress is gonna get shorter. Go ahead. Your hair gonna get shorter. Go ahead. You know where you're going to start shopping at? You're going to start shopping over there at, um, over there by um, um, Art Van. It's ABC Warehouse. And then what's next to that? Oakman's. Oakman's all along the wall. Oakman's all along the wall. You know what they got all along the wall? Wigs. Weave. What, what happened? You ain't wasn't being fed. Your immune system got weak. Let me show you. Pray for me, saints. We're almost done. What happens to your immune system when it gets weak? You start having digestive issues. You lose the ability to properly digest food. Food starts bagging up in you. My God. What's wrong with this song? You ain't eating. Something happened to you. Shane, you, you. Last week's message is still up in you. The week before that, you ain't took time to go home. Get before God. One sister came to me one time, it was a few months back, and she like, really, why in the world you do this tonight? I said, what you mean? She said, I ain't even ate last week's all the way. Then you better take your time. Get before God. Go over your notes at home. Pray on it. This great caravan moving on. We behind. We got to catch up for lost ground. Ain't no time to slow things up. Are you serious? The bride got to be prepared for Christ. Faith is at an all-time low. We're fighting the fight of faith. We're trying to build people's faith up. Get new converts coming in. They got to get saved, sanctified, see the church for real so they can get equipped to go do a work for God. Couples coming in and you want us to slow. We can't slow down. God will give you grace if you take the time. One old saint said it takes time to be holy. It takes time to stay measured up. You can't just grab a deep gospel, leave here, and go do your own thing, and then just, my God, stay busy on Facebook, Instagram, all this other stuff, and then give God just a little bit. No, 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 no. You gotta take time to digest God's word. You can't rush through devotion and just read. This is God's word. Every bit of it's lie. It got depth to it. You gotta read to get the nugget, to get the juice out of it. You can't just be in some rush and just say, oh, I read something. No, you won't digest it. You're not giving yourself time to digest the word. So when your immune system gets weak, your digestive system gets weak. There's a loss of appetite. My God. My God. Leaving stuff on your plate. Hold on. We're really what? Yeah, they was out in the hall doing the whole message. They weren't paying attention. They just sat there on their phone. The whole, I looked over and saw them. They was on their phone. Something ain't right. Something. The immune system. Something. No, when their immune system was tight, brother, they was taking pages of no. They sitting there, the biggest supporter. Be careful. Be careful. You checking ESPN.com doing church? Seriously? LeBron mean that much to you, huh? Wow. You gonna actually check your Facebook? Why the word is going forth? You looking to see if anybody ever post? Yeah, Jesus is posting. He's posting right now. You don't see all these posts? <laughs> Check these posts. 
end up with diet. Oh my God, immune system get weak, end up with diarrhea. In other words, can't keep stuff down. Go in one ear out the other. What happened to them? The immune system got weak. They wasn't eating right. Loss of weight. Immune system get weak. You see the age, all this stuff? Immune system attack? They come around. That's what, that was one of the signs. Because they would cover up all the sores. You see somebody, like me, you see them? What's wrong with them? They neck is, hey, Hamp, how you doing, man? Some may, no. Something wrong with your immune system. That's the same thing spiritually. Where you at? They ain't near what they used to be. Nah, nah. It was, they would not get up with current, they used to get up with fire. They, when they said something, you would listen. When he preached, you heard a word every time. When, you, when they sung, you felt it. It wasn't just... And it's not even about your age. It's not about your physical ability. I remember Sister Willis, she was dealing with a condition and she had to hold the page up close to her face. My God, she wasn't the 40 year old, the 30 year old. This and she was older. She was dealing with a condition. Took her a while to walk up here. She grabbed this book, this evening light book, not some ditty, not some song with eight parts and this part. You seen this, you did. No, no, no. Just one person with one song with one heavy anointing. All right. All right. All right. Bless the whole building. Just set it. I said, how in the world you do that with that song? I didn't heard that song sung a hundred times. How in the world? But you mess around and let your immune system get weak. And she was even older, dealing with a condition. Don't you just stay home because you don't feel good. If you can press your way out, press your way. Don't you just say, I'm older now. That ain't no excuse, my God. I don't, you, you, better get, you better get fed. Right. You better figure out a way to get fed. I got to get fed. I got to get fed. I'm, no, no, I, I got to get fed. Taking some extra time out on your job. I'll take it overtime. No, no, no. I got to get fed. Weight loss. Also, loss of muscle tissue. Strength greatly diminished. Strength to take new ground diminished. Strength to slay giants. You're going to live with one giant after another. Accumulating one giant after another. What happened? Their immune system got weak. Their muscle tissue began to, that's why they, they it attacks your muscle tissue. Immune system get weak. They mean to lose their sight. Some age, pay, some pay, they go in there. Is that you? What's wrong? Their sight. They don't see like they used to. It's a like the muscle tissue. Get weak. A giant come over here. Man, get away from me. My immune system, my, 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 my immune system is strong. So my muscles are intact. Immune system weak. <coughs> muscles diminished. This little bit of foe. Somebody barely wink at you. Hey. Man, you used to thump that. Now you sitting there, a whole sensation go through your body. He ain't got no teeth. He walking. In a, he walking in the winter. He got, he got, I'm sorry, let me, let me back it up. He's got, he's got, he got a tooth. You sitting up here, he got one tooth. Walking in the winter. You used to have a fine brother. With a good job. With that foreign car outside. Ride by to you and say, you sure you don't want to go to lunch or dinner tonight? I'm sure. <laughs> Playing with you. You ain't going to tour with me. You told the same girl this last. Your vision was so clear. Your muscles were so strong. But when your immune system get weak, anybody, oh Lord, help me. I got to close it out. Anybody that come around you with any disease, you in trouble. My God, my God. You ain't eating. You ain't eating. Somebody come up here, come around you with a 1991 bitterness. You got a minute? No. You ain't got no vision. Your vision is dim. Now you weak. What? Well, there's some things you need to know. You get up. Your immune system is so weak. Ooh. You should have heard, you, you, you hear? You, did you, that, could you, you, was that vulnerable? Yeah. You messed up, seriously? You all, you, you all twisted. You walking in the walls, now you just twisted off. You, your devotion been weak, your fast life been weak. 
you, your immune system ain't built up. Right. Anything come, got you all just all messed up. You just said from birth to whole man. It ain't the issue. It ain't that. Don't get confused and say, let me give you more information on the issue. Let me talk to you about. No, 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 no. I got to tell you what I had to tell a young brother earlier in the week. No, it's not the females. No, it's not my God, the boys that's calling you to play hoop during church. No, it's not all that. What, what? You got to get in your word. You got to turn your plate up. You got to eat the everlasting word of God. You got to get the old CDs out. Dig them out, my God. You got to build yourself up in your mind. Most holy faith. It's too serious of a time in the gospel day for you to walk around with a weak immune system. You will be taken out of here. Yeah. Have no clue, none whatsoever what you're dealing with. Somebody come up here with three, three works of grace. Somebody come up with some, some half messed up myths. They, they, they so messed up you don't even know it. Mm-hmm. Presenting themselves to be something that they totally not. Yeah. You have no clue what's your blood. Your eyes messed up. When, you, when the immune system get weak, you don't see like you should see. You get confused when you see. Lastly, how does the immune system get weak? A person could be dealing with something and they never get all the way healed from that condition. And then something else comes. The Bible talks about being slightly healed. Something happened. You weren't healed from that last situation. That last time that boy said that's your job, you never got fully healed. That last time you was overlooked, you were never healed from it. You still feel the same. That last time you went through that situation, yeah, you said sorry, yeah, you said this, but there was still something in you that still felt a certain way. There was still something in you that you really didn't let all the way go. There was still something deep down in you. You felt a certain way. So you had it, it was low, you suppressed it, you kept going, you smiled, you did this and the other, but soon as another spirit come on the horizon, it's going to catch you. Why? Because you weren't fully healed from what happened last time. My God. My God. Until husband said this, that, and the other. The boss did you this way, that, and the other. So here's something else come. And the last thing he said was that the last, that was number four, right? Not fully healed from a prior condition. The last one is you got too close to a strong contamination. That's why in Revelation it said, come out from among them. Babylon is such a strong spirit, you don't even go around it unless you call them out. You don't, you don't just say, you know what, I'm on my family vacation, I'm just gonna go when the saints went. And they had a tent up and they said, oh, I'm gonna go to this church service, I'm gonna go in there. And the guy got up. He said, I feel the spirit moving. Oh, hair was slicked back. He was walking up. I feel the spirit moving like it did in Acts chapter 2. Somebody ran up, got on the organ. Oh, I feel them speaking uh, in other tongues of chattering voices. I feel the spirit moving. And saints, they said they felt something. Y'all think they just playing, they, it's a spirit. You don't play with no babbling. They said this, I'm just going to go in here and just see what they're going to do. One time Brother Hampton said it was a, a old brother, Prophet Jones out of uh, Philadelphia. He would get on the radio and tell you all this stuff, tell you what you didn't see, what you see. This is on the Church of God, brother and young man. He said, I'm going down there, I'm getting my Bible. I know what the Church of God stands for. I'm going into his church and I'm going to tell Prophet Jones the truth of God's word to mess up his radio broadcast. I'm going to get him say, he went up in there. Mm. Prophet Jones sat down you wanted to come see me mm-hmm. brother said yes sir I want to open my Bible he opened his Bible up Prophet John he said do you know who I am he said he felt a spirit over he ran <laughs> you don't play with no bad. don't don't, don't talk about I'm going to change it no it said come out yes. and over in Corinthians he said be separate yes. right. don't even toy with them My God. and I'm going to tell you somebody come with a strong that, that, how, how do people's immune system get messed up those four and the fifth one was they get too close that's why they said if somebody got an off spirit not that they misconstrued this doctrine but their spirit is off it said mark them avoid them don't go I'm not going to even try to convince you I'm not trying to talk to you you better
better get enough discernment to see that spirit is off. I'm not toying with it. What, what happened to so? No, no, no. Like Brother Hanbo say, they shouldn't have got so close. But they got too close. They got confused. Somebody bought them. He said they shouldn't have got too close. They should have enough discernment to see that spirit is off. Don't toy with it. Don't play with it. Don't try to convince it. One time a brother got off. He was in there. He going, I'm going to do this. I'm going out to start. I'm going to be the next Gina one. I'm going to go. And my, my, my mother said, Frank, go talk to him. Frank, he was a, one, of your, one of your good brothers. Oh, Frank, go talk to him. My dad looked at my mother and said, listen, I appreciate all your mercy and all your love. What in the world am I going to tell him? He knows exactly what. It's stuff you don't even know about. Stuff you ain't got a clue on. Right. I ain't going to tell you every single detail of every single thing. You better hear the word of God and obey your ministry. This ain't no joke. We fighting the eternal battle. See, I love your love. I love you. I appreciate you. But what we're dealing with today is way too serious. And my mother said, whoa. Whoa. I go in the corner. I pray for him. But I'm not going to get too close. I'm not going to get close to that guy at this job. He got a strong spirit. A real strong spirit. I'm not going to get you too close. They're over there smoking weed. You know you have. It's a strong spirit over there. Don't get too close to it. What happened to him? He got too close. What we got to do today. Spirits all around. He said, after my departure, so grievous wolves come in right among you. They look. If your immune system ain't strong enough. Today, new converts getting saved, these spirits out here are strong. If your immune system ain't strong enough, talking about you getting married, your immune system better be, I want to sing in a choir. If your immune system ain't strong enough, our prayer today is that each one of us will be before God, saying, Lord, strengthen my immune system. Whatever we face today, individually, on our job, collectively, as a church, I don't want nothing to affect or contaminate my spiritual immune system. Shall we stand? We're going to pray. Those that need prayer, those that need prayer, you can come forward. We're going to pray.